When the bandit troops of 1-9 Cav came to Iraq in 2010, they hit the ground running. And they're training their Iraqi counterparts to do the same. It's getting better every day, actually. We conduct training with them every morning from 9 to noon. We actually do dismounted patrols going into the Zumar, which is right across the road from the uh, CCP. So we do dismounted patrols, we do training. We conduct anything from CLS training here, or we'll do BRM, basic rifle marksmanship training, map reading, just the basic skills that any armed force needs to uh, work effectively. Whether on a mission or living at a checkpoint, there's always an opportunity to hone skills. Uh, today's uh, mortar shoot uh, is going to illustrate the capabilities that they've learned uh, through our training and our guidance. We hope to leave them uh, uh, the skills necessary to be able to protect our country once we uh, leave Iraq. With the country becoming more stable and the drawdown continuing, the troops are confident that the skills they're passing along will continue to help the people of Iraq. It's been a fluid mission overall. When we got here initially in 2010, we were still in the uh, OIF mindset. We were doing a lot of missions, a lot of raids, working hand-to-hand -hand with the Iraqis that way. Now it's become more of a mission of them transferring over, um, and they've been taking over a lot of the responsibilities that we used to have as far as patrolling, guard, checkpoints, and now we've just become trainers. We've given them a lot of the responsibility to run their own operations out here, and we're just here monitoring and making sure that they don't do anything that could endanger themselves or the local civilian population. Reporting from Checkpoint 11, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Kelly Longbine. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.